I'm Cami, and this is Cami's Closet. Welcome or welcome back. I just did a video, literally like a, a half hour ago, and I said I was coming back because I wanted to do another video just to test my skill in pre-scheduling videos. So hopefully you're watching my entire black handbag collection, and now you're gonna see my, yeah, my entire gray handbag collection, which is not a lot. This, this ought to take a few minutes. I tried to rush through the black one because I didn't want to be doing this, you know, having an hour long. People get bored, lose focus, they're gone. Try to keep them under a certain amount. If you're new to my channel, welcome again. And you'll see that I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to splice. I don't know how to do anything. So sometimes my videos go on and on and on. I like to chit chat. Um, sometimes way too much. So in any case, I also don't know how to do pretty thumbnails. So I'm trying to uh, figure out all that computer technology. But in the interim, I do know how to color. So I thought that would be a little more attractive than my face constantly. So anyway, here we go. My entire gray handbag collection. I'm going to start with the uh, newest that I have. And I'm wearing it. And yes, I consider this a handbag because I wear it as a handbag. And um, I think, did I, I didn't do a full review, but I did an unboxing of this bag. This is, and I'm gonna stand up for this. Ain't she cute? This is the baby let me take it off. The baby Givenchy Antigona in the gray. I get more use out of this than most of my bags. I kid you not. It holds, you know, pretty much nothing. It holds a couple of cards, ID maybe, um, a lipstick, and my keys. My keys are a full car key fob with four keys on the ring and it fits in here. And I deliberately bought this just to bring with me to work. I keep it in its dust bag inside my work bag. And when I run out on my break to like the post office or the supermarket or UPS or whatever, I throw my ID, my debit card and my keys in here. I hold my phone because that's what I normally do. Or if I have a back pocket, my phone goes in my back pocket. I want it to be hands-free when I'm just running out. So this was one of the best purchases. Literally, I, I, I know it sounds silly. It's one of the best purchases. Um, so I might be in the market for another one or something similar. Love it. I love the gray, goes with everything. And like I said, I just throw it on and run where I gotta run. Am I going to use it to go to the mall or, you know, to go somewhere where I'm going to be away from the house for a while or whatever? No, I deliberately bought it just so I can throw it on when I'm at work and run out without carrying my big, huge tote work bag. Perfect. Perfect for that. Perfect. Next, which I just did the bag of the day, I believe uh, yesterday. Was it yesterday? I did a video? Yes. Wow. I'm getting old. My YSL medium blue in the gray and the, I said on the video that it was pewter, but I think it's gunmetal. Anyway, this is one of my go-to bags. Love this bag. I use this like frequently, very frequently, probably every weekend I'm using this bag. Love it. It has some, you know, cons like everything, but in a nutshell, fabulous bag if you're interested I would definitely recommend this bag. That was my second one. Um, did I go in order? Was the most recent? Yes, the most recent was the Baby Lou. And then, no, I made a mistake. The, I got this one. This is more recent than the YSL, but whatever. We'll get over it. My gray Balenciaga, I bought this at the Balenciaga Boutique at the Short Hills Mall. On a whim, I did an unboxing for this baby. It has um, a crossbody, 
I love this. I loved it that it's the second time I bought it. Not saying I have two. I bought this same bag, except it had black hardware, like uh, two years ago from TJ Maxx, and it came crumpled up like a ball. I was very unimpressed. It bothered me that it was wrapped so poorly, even though it was a decent discount, probably about five or 600 off of what I paid full, you know, at the, at the boutique, but it was horrible. So I sent it back. I said, ah, I'm not even gonna bother. I kept thinking about this bag. I really did. I've been thinking about it since I returned the other one. And I was at the Short Hills Mall looking for a belt. That was my story. If you go back and watch the Balenciaga unboxing. And instead of a belt, I walked out with this. But I absolutely adore this. It's a beautiful gray. And um, I haven't even used it yet. Mm, figures, right? Typical of me. That was number three. And I have one last bag. This one I got a couple of years. I, I think I have it about two, maybe three. I'm not always on the mark with my time. I, I, you know, my memory doesn't always serve me. I'm, you know, 55 next month, so I have to give me a break. This bag is stunning. This is a Burberry. And I, I don't know if it's a small belt bag. I don't know the exact name of it. I did not bring my little box of files where I have all the envelopes with every one, every one, <laughs> with all the bags, you know, tags in it and car, care cards and receipts and everything. I was just doing a quick collection video. This Burberry is absolutely stunning. It has feet. It's a real um, dark gray. I, I don't know how to explain this gray. Um, I'm going to say maybe like a battleship gray. And it has the most beautiful powder blue lining, all leather lining. It has a crossbody strap. This bag is just, it's stunning. It's really stunning. The leather is, is beautiful. The belt hangs a bit, but I guess that's the way it's supposed to be. I have to pack it better. I haven't, I didn't really pack this one very well, so the structure is kind of off. I used it a couple of times. I'm not going to say very frequently, but I have used it a couple of times. I absolutely love it. Um, so, if you're new and you're tuning in for the first time, I usually do jewelry of the day. I just did a video. Like I said, my whole entire black handbag collection, just a half hour, hour ago, whatever it was. Um, so I'll just quickly say, you know, if you're seeing this for the first time and you didn't see my video an hour ago, I have a Movado watch. I love Movado because they make faces for that are very small. So they work well for very petite wrists on the size six. So uh, I usually wear another silver and gold, but I changed up today. So this is um, kind of like a black gunmetal diamond face. Beautiful, beautiful um, watch. My wedding set, another diamond band that I wear frequently. I don't have a lot of, you know, fine jewelry in rings. It's just, I don't. I don't know what, I just don't. I'm wearing this is a leather bracelet with crystals. Very, very pretty. I wear that in the summer and I have my uh, studs on and my solitaire diamond that my husband bought me about 10 years ago, I'm not sure. Um, usually I do a lot of changing up of the neckwear, the necklaces and stuff like that. Um, the necklaces and the bracelets. I tend to always wear the same, I wear the same earrings every day for three years because I don't wear anything dangling because of masks, the strings and everything are in the way. So generally I change up watches and necklaces, you know, sometimes the bracelet and that's pretty much it. So hopefully you like this quick video about my entire handbag, uh, gray handbag collection. And I'm going to repeat again for the third time that I'm doing a collab next Saturday with Fuchsia Floyd and Winnie BLV. So please be here for that next week. And I was just doing this second video today because I want to do a pre-schedule. I've never used that, um, feature. Yeah, that's the word. I never use that feature. So I'm, you know, I'm kind of new to all this and I'm not computer savvy and my computer is old and I don't know how to edit and I don't know how to do any of that. Um, you saw my thumbnail, my thumbnail, that's as creative as I can get right now. I'm glad I know how to color, stay in the lines. 
Anyway, have a great day and I'll see you next week.